All right, you guys, I got something ridiculous to show you. So, <laughs> those of you guys have followed some of my videos, as far as when I talk about going camping and doing that stuff, you know, I never really have been comfortable, you know, found something that gives me the comfort that I need to, to get like a good night's sleep. And I don't know if you're really looking for like a perfect night's sleep when you're out camping, but you don't want something that's so uncomfortable you're not, you're barely getting, you know, a total of maybe an hour or two uh, worth per night. So I tried a tent with an air mattress. I tried, and my tent was too small. I got this rooftop tent, which is really cool because it pops up really easy. And it's pretty comfortable, except, you know, it really needs a little bit more padding in there, but you're still sleeping on something that's just flat and hard, okay? And also that that thing is, it's big, it's bulky. So I thought, what if, what if I look into something different rather than a sleeping bag on, a, on some sort of pad, either in a tent or in the rooftop tent? So I looked at a lot of people talking about that they use cots, like a military cot, um, you know, a camping cot, Coleman cot, whatever. There's all, there's a ton of different cots out there. And <laughs> so I said, hey, that might not be a bad idea because it's it's somewhere between a sleeping bag and like a hammock, you know, it's, it's gonna still give you support, but it's not flat and hard and you have different options with this. I did some research and I always have a problem finding stuff that's wide enough, long enough, and strong enough to support me, right? I need something pretty wide for my shoulders. So I look for something that's, you know, usually about 30 plus inches wide. That's what I did with the sleeping pads as well. And then length, you know, I'm six foot three, I'm 250 pounds, you know, so there's not a lot of, there's not a whole lot of things that fit me. I found one that said, XL, XXL, you know, large, large cot for big people. And on, to be honest with you guys, I didn't pay exact attention to, to the dimensions. All I did was say, oh yeah, oh look, it, it's, it says it's for people over six, you know, six foot two, six foot three, and the width is good, and the weight rating is good, and the price was good, I'm gonna get it. Now I'm gonna show you guys the ridiculous thing that happened. So here, here it is right here. The brand is, it's Teton. A Teton Sports Cot XXL Cot. So Teton is pretty good. Uh, one of my sleeping pads is actually from them. And let me just get this out of this. It's not really a case, it's like a sleeve. It's got two separate pieces. Other than that, everything is all one piece. And it's made out of aluminum and steel. Steel legs, aluminum, where it holds the uh, the fabric. Okay, so that just falls down like that, I guess. And this falls down like this. What do you see this, you guys? I don't know if one person's supposed to be able to set this up or not, but I'm gonna do it. Can you see? Can you see on the camera? Can you see how wide this is? So these, these end pieces go through here. The big sleeve. Lock in like that. Same thing at the other end. And then I got, I got a pad for it. And this guy rolls out like this. Now look at that thing. It's like a queen size bed. It doesn't creak, doesn't make noise, it's super strong. And if I can't get a good night's sleep on that, I don't know what. But the only problem is, what the heck am I going to fit this thing into? Like a, a camping trailer? I mean, it's the joke of this video is... Seriously, with the non-stop construction. So like I said, I didn't really look at the specs of it, but... 
I mean, you can see, look how big that thing is. Look at it, how wide it is compared to the Jeep. Now, one thing I can do with this, if the weather's permitting, is put it next to the Jeep with my awning wrapped around and I'm actually under cover, off the ground, and I've got this thing. It's, you saw how easy it was to set up. It kind of just flopped open and set itself up, but it's so wide. The le it's long too, I mean, it's, it's just ridiculously big how big this thing is. The width, the length, but all that being said, it's really, really comfortable with this pad. You know, this pad's what, you know, two inches thick. It's just foam inside there. And then you've got the, the material itself that's, you know, it's got like an, it's almost like a, like I said, like a more of a hammock than sleep on something flat. So <laughs> this is my next adventure here. The only issue now I have is, I don't know, like, there's no tent that I know that I can set this thing up in. It may be that you just sleep outside with it, uh, with something undercover. Now, like I said, I've got the awning, I've got like a imitation easy up that could go over it, and then you're sleeping out in the elements, which, if you think about it, what's the difference really besides sleeping like under a tarp? Which I have tarps too, I could hang off here. What's the difference between sleeping under a tarp and a tent? Really, it's just the mesh, like bug netting, right? And I try and go places where there aren't little creepy flyers that fly around, you know, it's not like like black flies in Canada or stuff like that, or mosquitoes around water sources, because there's not a lot of water sources around here. But you never know where, like, where I'm gonna go, there might be some stuff. But when we went to Utah, we didn't have any, any issues with bugs. We saw some ants and stuff, but I don't know. It's like, it, it, it's, it's a once again, it's kind of like all the other stuff. There's good and there's bad to it. The good is it feels extremely comfortable. I actually set it up in the living room and laid on it and watched TV for a couple hours, you know, just to get the feel of it. Cause like anything, when you first lay on it, feels good, right? You're like, oh, this, this is so great. This feels really good. But I went to lay on it for like a couple hours and I, I felt like I could fall asleep on it. And being at home, laying on something where you have your couch or your chair or your bed that you can lay in and compare it to, it's pretty comfortable. So the only issue is it's ridiculously big. It's so big. I li you can literally sleep two people on this thing. It's, it feels like bigger than a twin bed. But anyway, <laughs> I thought you guys would get a kick out of that thing. When I first opened this thing up, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Because most cots, you see them, like the little military cots, little Coleman, you know, you're just like, little, you just fold it out and you're on this little fabric thing. This thing, it's like the Taj Mahal, you're just like, lay it out, give it to me. <laughs> That's it, you guys. I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching.